the 2010 Wheelchair Rugby Four Nations, hosted at Sydney Olympic Park by the Australian Paralympic Committee. The tournament brings together teams from Australia, Canada, Great Britain and New Zealand to battle it out over five days for the Four Nations title. You know, this is a really important event for us. It's the first time we've done it. We think it's got a great future. It's in our best interest to play the best teams in the world. And if we can attract them to Australia, our guys are going to benefit from it. And I think the Australian people are going to enjoy watching it. Well, this should be a great competition. Uh, all four teams are very strong. Ultimately, I think it will come down to us and the Canadians in the final. But, you know, you can never write the Kiwis off. We have a lot of great wars. And then uh, GB are developing as well. So it should be a great opportunity to play some top teams. Well, with the Four Nations Cup, it's a, it's a good opportunity for us to prepare for Worlds. And, you know, the idea is that we're all looking to, to get the gold. We always have great games against GB. It's always really physical. And Canada, we've had uh, many, many really close clashes with them. And sort of New Zealand goes without saying. We love it, and they love it, and it's, it's always a good battle. Big, powerful, strong, he knows the game, he's, he's a fantastic player. He has a lot of good instincts, he's got a lot of good speed. Basically he is the most dominant player in the game. My style of gameplay is to have the ball and you know be the most dominant offensive player out there. Riley's the best in the world, I mean there's, there's no whole bars on that. He's a big man, he's a fast man, uh, he can certainly move people around. Um, and I mean to me that's the ideal rugby player, right? Yeah, look, I wouldn't really say I'm the, I'm the best player in the world. I'd, I'd like to say our team works the best in the world. The game's getting faster and more intense all the time, so speed is one of the main things in wheelchair rugby. To get out of some of those traps, you need a bit of weight and a bit of strength, so it's a bit of a mixture of speed and power. Well, he's a big bully, man. <laughs> you see him out there. What you see on court is an aggressive, uh, fine-tuned athlete, but when he's off court, he's a really nice, mild-mannered kid and very well-liked and just a good bloke to be around. My family love the sport of wheelchair rugby. Like I've got uh, probably 20-odd family members here today. You know, they love the big heads, love the intensity, love the speed. Got into the sport when I was 12 years old. It was a school sport, uh, wheelchair rugby at the time. I was on a skateboard. Didn't really like the um, idea of being in a wheelchair. Thought it was for disabled people. Look, I was born with my disability, um, so I don't really know what it's like to walk, and uh, I've, you know, I've adapted to my disability, you know, fine. To get into the sport was, you know, fantastic. It's um, it's opened up a new life for me. Just to train every day and, and keep motivated and. Knowing that you're playing for your country in a sport is just a, it's an unreal thing. He's what you need at this level. He's a bloke who hates losing. He's a highly competitive guy, and uh, you know every time he gets on the court, he just wants to win. He wants to do his best, and he wants to beat the other guys, and that's fantastic. My future vision is definitely um, well, world champs this year to get the get the gold medal there, and then the long-term goal would be London 2012. Gold medal there would be you know unreal. Mm -hmm.